you're good to go now. So, uh, before I had to abruptly get off <clears throat> yesterday, because it's like 2 in the morning, <clears throat> I was going to go do this Dutch mission. Check up on Mr. Robo. Let's see how he's doing this fine evening. Whoa! Shit! You're bad news. Why don't you get lost? It's all good. Calm down. Damn. Okay, Mr. Robo don't play no games anymore. Okay. Either Mr. Robo got knocked the fuck out by me and decided to leave. Hope left the country. Nine AM, this is good good. Wait, I was just something just popped my mind. Uh, in the not not the, that Valentine mission that ended in this, but the other Valentine mission that <clears throat> ended in like uh, Jimmy Brooks dying. In that one didn't. Uh... Okay. Is it just me? Does it look like, yeah, this tent's all packed up? This Javier. Javier? Keep heading east. Is that the plan? For now. And when do we stop? When we reach Paris? Well, that'd be nice. Join the commune. Good morning, Arthur. We Austin. stop when hey, we find yeah. someplace the sensible. Shake in them that's following us and lie Please low. Survive. This is lying yeah, low. We can't stand Turn into a bunch long. of killers. I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Jose. We don't have a choice. So, we moving? Yeah. This will end soon. <coughs> Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry I don't Creek trust anything said. Micah says. Okay. Maybe you and Charles you know can go take a look, clear I off anyone you bad, find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Sure, hey, Doc. Come on. I need you for something. Sure. This can wait. So I didn't go hunting with you, Charles. I just didn't have a way to kill bison with that, you know? Alright. Let's do Berry Creek. So over here? Oh, I've been there before when hunting. For the hunting challenges. It's not a very good place for a camp. Yeah, we'll have to do, I guess. Let's go. So Charles, I just want to talk about. I want to talk so about the road. Find a new spot to camp. We're packing up and moving on. Again? We have to. Fast. We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made in Valentine. Uh, that didn't sound good. Uh, killed a lot of law. Killed a lot of Cornwall's men. They must know where we are by now. So. We're heading south? Yeah. Area called Dewberry Creek. Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And there ain't no way to 
judge is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. Goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. You don't have to tell me. So where does it end? Where does what end? Moving, running. Dutch don't see it as running. Call it what you want. I don't know. Before, put enough time and distance between you and the problem, eventually it went away. This is a big country. But now, with these Pinkertons, better paid bounty hunters, I ain't so sure. Maybe One the time. price on our heads got too big. Yeah, they've certainly got money behind them. They've got Cornwall's money behind them for one, which guarantees even more trouble. So Cornwall is... must be it up ahead. The old dried up creek. It seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. <clears throat> Could work, it's hey, open. I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there. Yeah, I think so. Vulture. He's been shot. Looks like trouble got here before us. Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. All right, Charles, let's go take a look. Okay. Let's... Look, here it is. A few tents, but the place looks empty. Let's have a look around and make sure. Now this looks good for a camp. And he has his gun, so I'm going to take out my gun too. Maybe they heard us coming. Be careful. Peekaboo! I see you in there. Peekaboo! It's okay. It's okay. Come out of there. You okay? I don't mean no harm. He said, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? It's German? No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of here! They took our father! Who did? Men, last night. Where? Where did they take him? It ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. Well, I am as tough and dense as the all that. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. There. By Charles. Nice. Come on. I don't see nothing. Foof marks. This way. What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just going to send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons breathing down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. Hold up. Let me check this. Okay. Looks like they go down this way. Okay, Arthur, you literally so, saw that, but couldn't say anything. What happened with those Pinkertons, anyway? When you were fishing with Jack? Said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch here. 
They picked the wrong man there. We should have moved right then, if you ask me. Wait a second, just want to look closer here. Look, they go along the shore there. I see them. Back to what I was talking about. The bastards told me they killed Mac. Said it right in front of Jack. Ah, and that kid, it's gonna be tough for him. Yeah, but he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. So we're talking about Jack. Yeah, all right, so back to the said he was going back oh, to the God. auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well. If it's John's idea, it must be a good one. What is it with you and him? Uh, he disappeared on us for a while. When Jack was real young. A long while. Year Wait, just let me make sure this is right. Continue on that trail ahead of us. Good eyes, Arthur. Let's keep on him. Thank he was you. just talking about something. He did? And we was family, you know? Guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. There's a camp up ahead. Be careful. Seems deserted. Let's take a look. Yeah, a hog tied dude right there. Yeah, yeah I sure, I think so. So where is this guy? I don't know. But you know something? This Jeez. is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. Yeah, Maybe. So. This looks like our feather, Charles. <laughs> Three. Bye. Why the hell you drag us into this, Charles? Bye. Bye. Doesn't look like it. Oh yeah, I'm I'm already hot. It seems like I have to take just like coaching off. I guess, I guess it's too hot up here. Go down here, it's down south. No, no running away. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. All right, let's turn Saddler to his family. So like you were saying before. All right, come on. I'll take you back to your family. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Also soll ich mitkommen? Okay. Yeah, someone like this way. Like down here to the shore. Wo bringen Sie mich hin? What the hell did you do to those fellas? Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld? Money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erfassen. How did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wir haben sie. I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English.
Dem Herrgott sei Dank. Schatz! Oh. Andreas, Andreas, ich hab gedacht, du seist tot. Beinahe wär's so gewesen. Meine Lieblinge, mein Herz allerliebst. <lacht> oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben. Come on, now get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Bam das ist wahr. Bam uh, ich hab was für Sie. Einen Moment. Uh, um, Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Gold bar. Oh, thank you. Yes, it was a pleasure. Yeah. You were right. Oh, this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. Okay, Dutch. Oh, chapter three. Clemens Point. Lady Adler right there. Complete chapter two. Oh, huh. Let's got an achievement for beating chapter two. How you feeling? Okay. Right, let me take this sheep coat off considering that I'm hot now wearing it, so Let's see what Dutch wants now. Oh, that's mine. How you doing, old friend? Man, it's funny. Us ending up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals. Arthur, we're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's gonna be casualties. We're thieves. In a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Hosea says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of fish. So we're going fishing. That's always nice. So we done Robin. Just fishing now. Is that it? Why, uh, why fish at that creek? And we got this big lake here. Yeah, we can even. Dutch, look, we can even hop on a boat, sail, sail ourselves over to Blackwater, collect the money, come back over here, and live our lives. Hey, Easy as that. Don't look too rosy, old friend. 
I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good and long over. <laughs> Always dream crushing and bubble burst. Is that you, Jusko? Alright, gentlemen. Let me show you how it's done. I don't... Yeah, that is. I saw it in the corner there for a second. Let's see what just go. Oh, Sean McGuire better get it. Oh, Sean McGuire better get it. Damn it. just fish here? It's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there. Oh, there was a us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. Oh, hang on. Chimney. Chimney? Chimney? Chimney. Come on, we can't walk it from here. I know, chimney, never mind, no chimney. Sorry to waste your time, guys. No chimney. Alright. Now, I was saying something. Uh, oh, yeah. For what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. But we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still... We do need money, so keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil. Dutch has asked the gang not to use weapons to talk to Gosh damn it. We've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, ho, ho. This is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Hold. Take a look at the criminals, shall we? Yeah, those guys. And Josiah Jelani? That you? How'd you end up in jail, buddy? Bro got caught. No. I refuse to believe that he got caught. Hello, gentlemen. Yeah, it is Johnny. Oh, no. Look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot of bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite... Some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we 
Can we just... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow oh us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Let's go after that train. Is that a cow? Do not shoot them, you hear me? Come on, hurry. All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you oh, relax? Hey, I got a good there? voice. I got a good voice. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. God, I can like in the back the of my throat. Here. Anyway. I get it. I'm doing my best. Come on, pull me up. Uh, Looks like the son of a bitch is gonna make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. <laughs> oh God, did that guy die from that? Oh, my horse died from that. But Bo died from that. Take Archibald. Archibald. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Let's go. Yes, After Dutch. That train. You guys discuss the foolish. Do not shoot them. You hear me? Cows. I don't I know. Told you, no shooting. Well, what are you I, doing? I want to shoot them. Anyway. All right. Come on. We're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Faster. Come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur, Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. So what are these fellas wanted for? Looks like the son of a bitch is gonna make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. Alright, oh, this is the farthest I've ever made it in the mission. Let's go. Is that guy dead? Oh, he died. Stay with that train. The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. Yeah. Get to the side of the train. What? Get alongside that flat carriage. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. You are something else. Come on, get to the side of that train. Do it! Jump! Uh, you can't bastards! Uh, do nothing! Uh, 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 I guess there's another dead guy. Yep. There's a. I think I'm noticing a pattern here. <laughs> a good honest fist fight.
Bring him out here. Deputy. Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. What now? Take him in. Come on. All right, back on my horse, I suppose. Fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. There you go. You are a natural. Sorry about the other guys, though. They didn't make it. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Right. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. Well, mm, that. Oh, so I bet there's some good money in there. Kind of hope Javier hits me up with a homestead robbery for this place. That'd be nice. Yeah, I can't take out my guns. Hey, mister, you gonna pay me for my services here today? Cause, uh, I'm here broke. Welcome to Rhodes. Very broke. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Oh, my left. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Very little. Oh, good, they're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay, we're gonna stop just ahead on the right outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Oh, Anna Hosea? Is that Hosea or Dutch? For me? Oh, both of them. Dutch is up there and Hosea is down there. Bring him in so we can show Sheriff Gray. Yeah, what hey, do you think it? I was doing? Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here. Your idiot friend is free to go. No more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Oh, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? We can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan. The edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Grays, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses falling out of rebel gold, marrying cousins or not marrying. Arthur, that's Jose. You start poking around, see what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard. About bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like 
We can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where do you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents. Some super agents. <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I could not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. And goodbye, Trelawney. Now can we go fishing? Okay, so these two plantation families... I wanna go Marcus, fishing. You start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these Braithwaites. Alright. Thank you, Arthur. Quite yeah. a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Or have you had enough of the chase for one day? I would love to go fishing. Sure, why not? Great. Hosea, why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kind of like this place. Me too. Okay, let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. I'm gonna take a little All right, gentlemen, follow me. Okay, girl. So how far is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals. Or I am. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are. No, hang on, let me. I think I saw something in settings to help with fishing. I just wanna. Make sure what I saw was right. Controls. Wait, what's the light bar effect? Ooh, uh, on the wireless control. Yeah, I actually like that. I like the lights flash when you wanted. Yeah, it's right here. This is what I wanted. The hold fishing instead of with the local spinning. Law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. So what Trelawney said about those bounty hunters? What you think? I told you. I've had bounty hunters after me for years. When was the last time I didn't have a price on my head? Seems a little bigger now, Dutch. Super agents. It's just Trelawney over egging the pudding like the showman he is. Unless there's a new breed, a special man I don't know about. So, do nothing? Not until I've thought it through. Interesting about those two families. We'll look into it. Good. Like I said, when we set off, just start turning the soil. Low profile. Alright. Let's talk about Trelawney. Trelawney's like a bad penny. I'm not sure how good a magician he is. But he's certainly good at disappearing when he feels like it. Where does he go? Everywhere and nowhere, it seems. We wouldn't have got Sean back if he hadn't been weaseling around down that way, though. Hey, Dutch, remember that time you found him in the outhouse? <laughs> oh, yeah. We hadn't seen him in weeks. We stopped in some dead-end town in the middle of nowhere. Don't even remember the name. You and Bill were off doing something, Arthur. <laughs> so, we pick up some supplies. I go to relieve myself, open the door, and there's Trelawney, sitting there, newspaper in hand. Watch it! Newspaper in hand. Mr. Vanderlyn! This is the spot. Down to the left there. 
It's a good story, Dutch. Good story. I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. I guess it would be. Hey, those are the boats you mean? Yes. Good. Uh, the horses won't run off. I could just hitch my horse up here by the trees. I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. Can I? Yeah, hitch horse. Girl. Yeah, and Hosea. All right. This looks like a fine vessel. That's good okay. enough. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh, oh. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. Let me row. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. I enjoy picking on children. Now take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. Well, what about stupid luck? Good fish. That'll do too. Head towards the middle of the lake. Can I head uh taps real faster, yeah. I think he is good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance. It's a hook and something big like a sturgeon. What's wrong with good old worm? Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is, then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. It looks like you got a bite, Arthur. You hooked him. Something's nibbling. There we go. Ah, I should have had that one. Okay, that was a bite. Hey, look at this beauty. There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Fella told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckoned. <laughs> I would like to see that. You're getting the hang of this. Hey, Jose. <coughs> Remember that time we sent Orser out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Ah, uh, this again? I don't think I do. Oh, yeah. You do. He was maybe 20. 21. Walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast. Toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week, Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, So how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish, or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. Nicely done, Arthur. There he is. I'm taking all the fish I catch today. I used today. to go fishing with this fella back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We go out all the time. But one day we were river fishing when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge. And out of the blue, Wesley stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. And he replies, well, 
Felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, dear God. I might swim to shore. Not bad, Hartford. Oh, what's this? Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Kafka went and scoffed the lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, he had some spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him. Not to the end. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been. A as a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I liked it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Anchorton's had patrols out all over tall trees and great plains. We saw when we went back to Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? There could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. Well done. Oh, worth keeping that one. Yeah, no. I tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Apparently so. I, uh, I only found out from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. She and I didn't always see eye to eye. I wasn't always a very obedient child. I can only imagine. Still, I loved her in my own way, and she me in hers. <laughs> Somehow, even from the grave, she managed to have the last laugh. Got one! Finally, I was like, I actually caught something. There you go. That's a nice one. Yeah. That'll drill up nice. Well, I hope it does, Hosea. No more stories. If not, we're heading back. I, I just I really just came here to hear stories. Arthur's got a bite. I do, I do. I'm just reeling this bastard and then... The Dutch even catch a fish at all. Good job, Arthur. Deep in that one, eh? Yeah. Now I'll continue fishing more. I'm getting like health points every time I do it. Could always use some more health too, you know? This is nice. Just These are probably some of my favorite characters. Hosea, Arthur, Sean, he's pretty funny. And John, I'd say those are my favorite. Lenny, Lenny too, he's he's nice, he's nice. Um yeah, John Hosea Arthur Lenny Did I say Lenny, I don't know. Arthur's pleased with that one. Yeah, just almost all these characters are my favorite. I just the ones I listed before, I'm not gonna say them again, but I, I don't, cause I'd be the third time. I don't want to sound like I'm just repeating myself, but they're my favorite. Well, also, Mary Beth too. She's nice. You got something biting, Arthur. I can tell Dutch. Have you got a bite? That is that a fucking snake? Make sure you don't forget about that and let it rot in the bag. 
I'm not all these are going to Mr. Pearson when we get back. Got it. Alright, tie him out as usual and just reel him in. Oh. That's a good one. It's getting kind of late, isn't it? You see the... They want to enjoy the day, so I'll sit here all day with them and fish. Fish on the line, Arthur. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Yeah, they're out of stories. Does that even make a difference going up and down like that? Bigger one, are you? No, I have no more space left, so. Hey, I reckon we call it a day, fellas. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. All right. I think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat. Not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. Uh -huh. Thank you, boys. Now, Jose. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Um, all right, I got one for you. I asked that gal to give me some. I asked that gal to give me some. She says, wait until the taters is done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. I couldn't wait till the tears was done. Threw her on the floor and I knocked off some. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I wish to God I passed her by. Mm -hmm. I wish to God I passed her by. Tears got burned and so did I. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was that was pretty good. But you know what song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us. Three. Mariners. Ah, of course. Well, we need three poor mariners to leak up from the seas. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we go dance this round, round, round? Shall we go dance this round, round, round? And he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this round. men that do our states disdain, but we care for the merchant men that do our states maintain. To them we dance this round, around, around, to them we dance this round, around, around, and he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this ground, a ground, a ground. We should not let the folks back to Indeed not. That was fun. I'm gonna come back here with this boat, so let's just keep it.
It should. I mean, we're docking it right next to camp. By my side, things are gonna be just fine. This place will be good for us, for now, anyway. I hope so. Well, I am going to take in the view. I'll give these fish to Pearson. I'll go give my fish to Pearson. What do you want? Uncle. Don't be like that. Uh, you know, just a, just a few bucks. And I'm short. Get lost. Well, well, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. You're not saying, Smith. You're selling. Oh, I'm sorry, Captain. Did they do things differently in the Navy? Yes. They left the ladies in port. <laughs> and you preferred that, did you? Sometimes. Should I say the women? Alright, let's see. Leopold's Jow's got something. Money lending another oh god, more more debts. Ah, Herr Morgan. Herr Strauss. How are you enjoying yourself here? Well enough, I guess. And you? Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, and not for some of the locals. Sharking already. I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. What choice do we have, Mr. Nah, Morgan? I don't know. Well, come on, then. Tell me who. Here's the list. Refinery worker turned hunter by the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Ah, an apprentice undertaker. This one working in rows. His name was... Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them. Alright. <laughs> uh, you say Micah had something? Yeah. Five finger fillet with Micah. Micah? Sit down, my dearest friend. Show me just what you got. Now forgive me if I slip and stab you in the face. You know, I think the last time I played this was with Skinny and those boys and Strawberry. Before, well, things all went a little crazy. A little crazy? A feller stupid enough to disrespect me during a knife game. Ugh, deserves what he gets. Now the fun part. Oh god, he's gonna kill me during this, isn't he? Oh god, I gotta have to like beat his record. Horseshit. Ha! Hope you stab yourself again, Micah.
Oh god, six left. Pearson. The further questions of female suffrage. The course of true love won. What are you doing? You're a waste of space. What are you talking about now? All right, simmer down. You don't know what you want, do you? Wait, no, I thought Javier was over there. What time is it? Is it even a good time to go fishing? No, it's like 6 p.m. Fishing can wait until the morning. Oh, Dutch. Alright. <clears throat> Let's see. What we can do for the gang. Camp boat. Meta Travis selling an old boat. Useful. Uh. Ooh. Buy a horse station. A place to achieve horses from the stables. A V call your main horse to camp. That'd be useful. That would be real useful. Buy a chip and coop. Add nutrition to all the camp stews. Dead eye boosts some consuming stew. That would also be real useful too. Now the boat, I don't know about. We just got a boat with Jose and Dutch. So. Yeah, that that's good enough for me. Gonna be fine, Dutch. Oh, that was fun today. <laughs> you didn't have to chase that train. American Inferno. Okay. Oh, Evelyn Miller. I have no idea who that is. Ooh, let me... Offer? Let me have some stew. Oh, say whatever you damn well please, but I tell you. If I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. You come near me, sailor, and I'll... Oh, okay. I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here... I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <laughs> Enough, both of you! Well, come with me, then. You wanna head out there? Run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? Damn. So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping? 
Shut your goddamn mouth. You cool down then yet? I guess. No, I ain't no skull yet. And I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweat halfwit. I guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. Huh. Where's that letter? Are you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm -hmm. There. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy, you are some help. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> you ever actually even talk to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now, that's Dutch's idea. All male sent to the same alias. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. <laughs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Is it still even six? Yeah, it's on seven now. Yeah. Huh? Park right okay. there. Here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you... No! Are you insane? Well, I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws. Not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. No guns. You're sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. You know, I could sell my fish too, I guess. You look hungry. Uh, I had a lot of fish Lucky to sell, buddy. Thank you very much, mister. Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? What's in the park? Look, it's more than all right. For a private matter. Now, I really must be going. Don't mention this to Vera. Don't mention that to Vila, guys. Do not mention it to Vila. Come on, boys, get back to it. Can I help you, mister? Yes, send, I'll send mail. To post a letter. All right. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Bye now. Can I pay, uh... No, I don't actually want to do that at all. Now let's go back and check on Mrs. Adler. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that, mister. I'm trying. Try harder. I think this is everything. Thanks. Here. Take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Okay, get on. 
I'm about done here. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. <laughs> so, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair making cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and no. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm -hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook. Hey there! Hey. What, uh... What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool, Steve. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey! How's about this? No! Go, go, go! God damn it! I'm with Sadie on this one. Oh, you did run that son of a bitch down. I'm taking your cover, mister. You know what? You can die on my behalf. yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I, I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe, <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but... I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> oh, we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. 
time is it now? It's still seven. Damn. Quick shopping trip. Who said that? Tilly? Is that her name? I think so. I'm an outlaw and I'm more interested in that homestead robbery symbol with Sean's name next to it. That's what I'm interested in as an outlaw. Yeah. So, tell me, is your people uh, Jacobites or English lovers, Arthur? My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone, just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin, a couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. And he tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was, shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them, maybe more, but I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> Damn sons of bitches. Think they're mean? <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. You just keep your cool, you hear me? Yep. Well, let me just make sure I got my bandana on standby. Uh, yep, I do. It's right down there. Right. Let's go. Let's do this. One. <clears throat> yeah. How far is this place? It's a bit of a ride, not too bad. Back up north to stretch, not far from the state line. All right. So, what were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for a take. I got a long nose for these things. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there, sitting around waiting to be told I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause. As from the moment I met him. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half. Other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Well, what's that box by his tent for, then? Camp funds, supplies, and the like. <laughs> in fact, you don't know that. Suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I'd always pay me way. Don't you worry. You're sure you scoped this place out right? Yes. See? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. What about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked out. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid. We got out of there. Got knocked out in Blackwater, too, didn't you? <laughs> now that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off, Mac? Nope. Didn't see him. We lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Davy was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Those bounty hunters strung me up, beat me, pulled teeth, poured me feet. I didn't read a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. Man's not a fortune teller. You can plan, you can use your head. 
You never really know what you're walking into. Yep. Folks always want to blame someone when things go wrong. How far is it now? Not too much, Porter. Better be worth it. Hey, you need this, Arthur. I don't even know what I'm here to no more. All right, that'll have to wait. We're nearly there. Hard left coming up. All right, it's going to be off the road up ahead. Up here, Morgan. Okay, we go up here. sure we keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed the money hope you know what you're doing I was just standing there rifle in hand looking all intimidating as I do Outside. This is good. It is. Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. You're gonna cover your face, though, right, Sean? Five seconds to get the hell off my property, boy. Uh, look, we don't want no trouble. We just thought you might like to know we passed a big posse of lawmen headed this way. There were a dozen of them coming up east. What? Where? Right here. It's up, Arthur. Here comes. Tell me where that money stashed. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms, if you stick your hand between the gap. All right, you go grab the money. We'll keep an eye on sunshine here. Go. Get out of here and never come back. And you did that face broadcasted to the world. See what else you can find, Sean. Alright, he said it's behind those like wooden things there, but I wanna do some other I stuff. Taken, no problem, didn't I? You did good. Let's see what the pay is first. Took this up all by myself. A proper lead. Alright, alright. You heard him, right? He said the stash was behind a loose board in the bedroom. I yeah, know, I just kinda want some gun oil. Find anything yet? Don't want to overstay our welcome, do we? Stash box? Oh wait, that's the guns. Alright, let's... Hey, this is more like it. Good work. Hey, what about my car? I found a place, didn't I? Alright, here. But don't forget to give the camp its share. 
Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right, don't need to lecture again. I'll see you back at camp. Never know what folks got stashed. <laughs> There's gotta be other places out there like this. Alright, that'll just about cut it for this stream. I know I certainly enjoyed myself, and this chapter 3 is looking pretty nice. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this stream. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.